All right, everybody, it is time for Creation Corner. That's whenever we think about the Bible story that we read today, then we make something that reminds us of it. You can get crayons and paper. You could get Play-Doh. You could get Legos or blocks. You could do anything you want. So quick, go get whatever it is you're going to create. Hi guys, Mr. Seyfried here. I have my Play-Doh. It is time for our creation corner, which I'm pretty excited about because today's Bible story, if you haven't read it or watched it even, I want to encourage you to go back and watch that. It was all about the creation story. It was pretty cool. And so I've got some Play-Doh here and I'm just kind of squeezing it together because sometimes my Play-Doh gets floppy and it starts falling apart. And I don't like that. So you can kind of squeeze it together, help put it back together. So I'm going to take my Play-Doh and just kind of break it up into a lot of pieces. I was trying to think about what is it that I want to create. And what I thought about doing was creating some different animals that were in the water. And so I thought, well, maybe I can get some blue water or blue Play-Doh and then break it up. And then I can go get some other Play-Doh and create some of it and put some stuff in the water. I thought that might be cool. Okay, so okay, so I just got some white Play-Doh and I'm not gonna mix it with my blue Play-Doh because that's one thing I do not like to do is mix the Play-Doh. So I'm just gonna push this over so that it's ready to go. My, and then I was thinking, what's something that I could make that you might see in water? Can you think of something? What's something that you might think of that you could play with in water? Oh, that's a good idea, a shark. And you know what? A shark kind of has what a couple different body parts, I'm thinking. So I know one of the things that it has is a tail. So I'm going to make the different body parts, and I'm picturing one of the tail, just the fin on the very back of the, the shark. So I, I know it's pointy on one end and then pointy on the other. So it's kind of like a triangle that got pulled out. Okay, so there we go. I think that's sort of like a tail. Okay, so I've got that part ready. Then I know that there is a two different um, fins. I almost said wings because it's kind of cool because sharks can kind of fly through the water just like a bird flies through the sky. So it's pretty neat. So here's one. And then I'll try to make it. I, I remember I was swimming the other day and I was like, wow, one, I wish I could fly through the sky the way I can through the water. It's pretty neat the way that, see, so there you go. Those kind of like two fins on the side. Now, I know that the, they also have that big dorsal fin, which is the big one that sticks out of the water that maybe you see in movies. So that's kind of just like a big triangle, I think. Okay, so look, you can see my shark kind of starting to take plus shape, uh, take shape. I've got the, let me see if I can show you a little bit. So I've got the back fin here, the top dorsal fin and the two side fins. Now all I need to do is try to make the regular body shape. Now I'm a little bit nervous because I think I might run out of, run out of space for my actual stuff. So let me see. Put that on there, put that on there. He's gonna have a big fin. Put this here, put this here. He kinda of still needs a head, I think, but maybe I could just squeeze it longer a little bit. Okay. It's not the best shark, but I think it's okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so there we go. I made a shark and I could put my water all around my shark because my shark can float through the water, swim through the water the way a bird swims or flies rather into the sky. So then maybe I could turn it into a bird. Maybe I could try that. Let me see if I can take my shark and what I would do to turn it into a bird. Well, I know that birds don't have fins back there, but they do have wings. So I think that this sort of looks like a bird. It's got the wings on there. Flap, flap. 
they got just got a small tail, and then maybe they've got two feet underneath. Sort of, no, I think it doesn't quite look like a bird still. Hmm, I guess if I was gonna to try to make a bird, I, I know that the bird has wings, just like that. And I'd have its body. Hmm, then it's got a little head. See if I can make its little head. It's got kind of a beak to it. Curve it down. Sometimes it's fun to try to take one thing, turn it into another. Okay, it takes a lot of thinking though. You gotta think a lot to do that. And then you got the birds. Now the bird's wings kind of go down over its body. See, that's what's different. And then it pulls out so they can fly. Then they go back over. So if they're just sitting there, they just got little bitty feet. They don't have big feet, I don't think. So it'd be like this. But then whenever the bird wants to go flying, whoosh, its wings open back up. Flap, flap, flap. Wow. Hope you liked that. Bye.